Well, welcome back to the channel. It's been two days of Thanksgiving food, and I bet we are about tired of that. So let's cook us some uh, beef short ribs and gravy. You can put it over some cauliflower rice, or you can put it over some regular rice, some taters, whatever you want to put it over, you can. Or you can just eat it by itself, huh, instead. Yes, steam up you some vegetables and get to work. So the first thing you want to do, you want to salt and pepper both sides of your short ribs and you want to brown it using a little olive oil in a pressure cooker you want to brown them on all sides um it's a beautiful thing when you can render that fat yes and make a nice little beautiful gravy all right we're going to add some onion and some bell pepper i know how to say onion in spanish cebolla yeah cebolla so some cebolla not really knowing how to say if it if you say bell pepper is pimento i don't know but whatever you're gonna add some seasoning so y'all already see some garlic powder onion powder some slap your mammy some no sauce seasoning and of course you got to have some of that Borey's gourmet seasoning you just got to have it. You can order that on the website at www.boracq.com. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, honey. And that, um, that love button that says subscribe. Hit them both. Please, por favor. And don't forget to leave a comment. I'm always talking back to you. Thank you. Have you checked in on yourself? Have you checked in on your mama and them, daddy and them, auntie and them, cousin and them, all your friends? people that you love yep all right so you're going to want to cover your meat um just above it. you're going to add three bay leaves one for the father the son and the holy spirit you hear me and you're going to let them cook for about 45 minutes then you're going to take that top off you're going to add a can of cream of mushroom a can of cream of chicken and you're going to want to stir that down in there you'll see me shaking the spoon agitating it just a little bit just to get it down there you go get it down in there but you're gonna cook it for a good i say a good 30 to 45 minutes before you add in the cream of mushroom and then i did add in one can of rotel tomatoes y'all didn't see me do that but i did add that in and oh my god it turned out beautiful thank y'all for stopping back by and hanging out with your girl look at them look how pretty they are nice and tender oh my god when i tell you these came out yummy yummy super delicious don't forget to remove your bay leaves but other than that this this is a wrap thank y'all for stopping by i appreciate you have a good day love you